going to do general range of motion at the elbow. Uh, for this, I'm going to have her standing and I'm going to have her in anatomical position uh, so that I can watch this. First, we're going to do uh, elbow flexion, so keeping her just uh, bending her elbow. She's going to bring her fore, uh, hand up to her shoulder, and this should be about 150 degrees of flexion. And then I'm going to have her straighten her back out. That's elbow extension, and for that, that normal should be zero degrees. Um, unless she has hyperextended elbows, which is uh, cubital uh, recurvatum. And then we can also do, um, actively, we can do uh, pronation. So she's going to turn her wrist over, palm down. That's pronation. Then she can do supination, palm up, um, actively. And both of those should be about um, 80 degrees of um, uh, pronation, or pronation and supination. And then we can also do it uh, passively. So again, I just have her relax as best as possible, then I can passively have her go through flexion, and then passively uh, go down to extension back to zero. And again, she would tell me you know, when to stop or if I run into any um, bony or muscular stopping. Uh, next, I'm also gonna do uh, pronation and supination, so I may need to support the forearm. And um, you can do this a couple different ways if you wanted to grab her in a wrist position. And I can do it in uh, pronation. Again, it'd be 80 degrees or again, starting upward and going backwards, uh, 80 degrees into uh, supination. And then uh, that's it for passive. And then we can do resistive range of motion. Uh, so flexion, again, in an anatomical position. I'm gonna, I can, I'm gonna support the elbow and she's gonna uh, come upward uh, through the entire range of motion. And I'm gonna assess her, her um, strength um, throughout the entire range of motion for elbow flexion. Elbow extension, I'm gonna put, again, supporting the elbow, I'm gonna have her go back down, hopefully back to zero all the way uh, with resistance. And then I can apply my uh, resistive uh, range of motion for pronation, again, hand shaking her and keeping her elbow flex. I'm gonna have her go this way against resistance all the way down, 80 degrees, and then come back up to neutral, and then I'm gonna have her go straighten her palm out uh, while I'll resist her uh, throughout the whole range of motion. And that's it for your range of motion.